In Chaos Theory Mode, you're given the opportunity to revisit each movie under a different light. The Jurassic World scenario steps up from the previous ones and a tighter management of the park is needed. Following the movie storyline, you will need to create all the dinos and Indominus threats as well as keep in a higher guest satisfaction. The map of this scenario is pretty big, which allows for some good planning. So from the start, you can pause the game and have a feel of where you will want to place everything. You will have to think about amenities coverage and where to place the monorail station, as well as a lagoon. And spacing your enclosure is a good idea, as destructive storms will occur from time to time in this scenario. The first objective is to set the park up by constructing a science center, followed by a response facility and a paleomedical facility. You will need to research those buildings from the research center, and you may need more skilled scientists that you can hire from the control center. You can then place them near the arrival point for the initial faster gameplay, or start from the edge of the map. Next, three dino species will be delivered the Ankylosaurus and the Triceratops that can be enclosed together, as well as the T-Rex. You can pause the game while planning your enclosure to make sure your money isn't eating up too much. Once delivered, make sure you have a ranger post in the enclosure and you will have to adjust it to make sure the dino have a comfort level of at least 80%. You will then have to place a restroom as well as an emergency shelter before being able to open Jurassic World and finally make some money. And with deaths arriving in the park, you will have to increase the amenity coverage as well as the guest comfort. This task can take a bit more time and resources, especially if you place your enclosure on the edge of the map instead of being centralized. To increase comfort, you can upgrade your path. And early in this scenario is a good time to research and place some hotels overseeing enclosures and connected monorail stations. Once all your desk coverage needs are met, the park will receive some Gallimimus that will need to be housed properly to expand your park, as well as increasing the total numbers of dinosaur species to six. For this task, you will need a hatchery, as well as leading expedition to increase some species genome. You can decide either to date carnivores or other herbivores, it's up to you. As a general tip, with tornadoes popping in this scenario and destructing fences, tend to keep the dangerous dinosaurs further away from the center of the park, and have a response center near those enclosures ready to repair the fences before the dinosaurs escape. The next objective will have you build a gyro station and make sure five dinosaurs are visible from the tour. After researching the gyro station, a good idea is to get at least some dino genome from two different species to be seen during the tour, and it will increase your total species number that will need to reach 12 at the end of the scenario. Once this is done, you will have to reach some tourism target by increasing your VIP guest number to 125 with an accommodation rating of 95%, as well as having a profit per minute of 150 tips from amenities. To do so, you can place more accommodation the enclosure being the best, as well as increasing your number of attraction while avoiding duplicates. Making sure your amenity coverage is good will also help you profit, as well as replacing smaller shops with bigger ones in popular areas to increase your profit. The next big objective will be to create an operational lagoon with a hatchery and a stand. Make sure you build it in a large area, as you will need at least five sections to house the Mosasaurus in the next objective. Once the lagoon is done, you will need to send out some expedition to increase the Mosasaurus genome to at least 50%. And make sure you have some shark feeder in place for the Moza. The next step is to release a pack of four Velociraptors that you can acquire from extracts in China to incubate some viable eggs back in your park you can then release them in an appropriate enclosure. Once that done, Jurassic World would not be Jurassic World without an Indominus Rex. And to do so, you will need to lead some expedition to complete the endogenome requirement. And for this, you will need some T-Rex genome, 50% of it, 25% of Chronotaurus, 25% of Velociraptor, and 25% of Didanotosaurus. After all the extracts are done, 
you will need to research the endominus threats before being able to incubate and release one specimen. This is a costly operation altogether, so make sure you have a healthy budget and income per minute. Using scientists with threads that reduce the cost of synthesis and incubation can also be a good option to reduce the overall cost. The last objective will be to boost your pack to that 5 star rating, and this will go hand to hand with the rest of the objective of increasing your death number to 1500 by adding hotels, attractions, and optimizing your amenities, and make sure you keep 3 million bucks in the bank. Increasing your death comfort will mean better path and better transport with a developed monorail network. You will also need 12 dino spaces total, so adding small dino in your already built lagoon is an easy way to do so, or combining various social herbivores in your gyrosphere attraction, for example. And just like that, that's another chaos theory done. I hope that video has been useful, and until next time, see ya!